I've got to drink it. Let's, uh, let's see if it tastes better. Welcome back to the Jigs Reviews. So back on some whiskey today. We are gonna carry on with um, the samples. There's still got plenty of them left. Well, I say plenty. I think I might be, might be getting to the bottom of it now. But this one today, so this was the third bottle in the um, little gifts that I got from uh, the Cotswold Distillery. Uh, this is just the, the standard. So I've got a big bottle of that. So I've already done, I've already done a review on that. I'll put a link up here if you wanna see that. So I'm not gonna do that one, but I have got an extra sample of something different from the Cotswolds Distillery. Uh, this one was kindly given to me by Matt. Um, Matt is someone I used to go to school with. He's got his own YouTube channel as well, which is Matt Cigars and Whiskies. So you go check him out, I'll put a link in the description. I'm sure a little picture of his face just popped up there. Um, so yeah, cool. So this one is the Reserve. Uh, it is 50% volume. Um, I think a bottle, an actual full bottle of this will set you back around about 55 quid. Um, pans, 55 pans, yeah, 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 nah. Yeah, mate, yeah, nah, nah, yeah, yeah. It has been going, yeah, mate. Oh, yeah, nah, nah, yeah, down the It has been aged in uh, first fill bourbon barrels, ex bourbon barrels, shall I say, and um, STRX red wine casks. So, um, obviously, there's no. Non chill filtered, no coloration, um, it's very light. Uh, I don't know how long it's aged for. Um, maybe I should check that out, but you know what I'm like. Um, I'll, um, I'll put that up there if I can find an age statement for it. Um, it is very light in color and it has been an ex red wine cast, so probably not that long, I'd say. But let's have a, let's pour it up. Let's put a bit more in. Yeah, there we have it. So that's the, against the normal one. Yes. It is lighter right. in colour. Unless Matt's watered it down. Have you watered it down? I hope you haven't watered it down. Um, and I wouldn't even know because I've never had it. Uh, so, 40, so yeah, the normal one's 46. So yeah, it's a bit, um, it's a bit higher up on the uh, on the alcohol, which is always a nice. Um, the other ones, I think these are around the 40. So, ah, so that's 59. So then, yeah, this is actually, it's actually quite a bit lower than the other ones I've done recently. But yeah, it's still got some, still got some good legs on it. It's not the bog standard 40, so I mean, 10% higher, it's always going to be a bonus in it, so. So yeah, let's take a little, let's take a little sniff in, shall we? Although I'm definitely getting that. That's why I said I'm definitely getting that and then I just didn't speak for ages. <laughs> I was taking more in then. Just take it in before I speak. I'm definitely getting like a, a caramelly or a marzipan kind of sweet note on there. Slight vegetal undernote as well. Bit like boiled broccoli or Brussels sprout or something. I'm getting a bit of a sherry nose. That could be the red wine cask influence, but I'm getting more sherry. Yeah, quite, quite stewed fruits like your plums and currants. It's like dusting of chocolate as well. Not, not a lot. Or a dark, you know. Coca nibs or something. It's not. It's not overly powerful. But it is there slightly. And then if something, I get like a bit of a, not so much a citrus fruit, but a, maybe like a bitter apple or something. But yeah, it's got a nice nose. Um, I. I personally, I think the nose on this is better, and the, the other two I've done were definitely better. This the, on the nose, this doesn't smell as good as what they do. But I've got to drink it. Let's uh, let's see if it tastes better. Hmm. It's quite fruity, actually. 
getting the sweet cherry. Maybe a bit. I'm just going down a bit of a tart cranberry sort of feel to it. Definitely got a sweet, it's definitely sweet to hit with. It's very woody, very sweet and very woody. That's toffee apple now. Really sweet toffee apple. A slight hint of chocolate in the palette as well. Them legs are coming down quite nice now. I'm not sure you see that in the glass, but yeah. Yeah, it's woody, it's sweet, it's a bit caramelly. It's definitely got some fruity hints. Yeah, I'm getting real, real forest bush fruits now, if you know what I mean. Your red fruits, your, your cherry. Maybe a hint of strawberry, but definitely like berries, raspberry, you know, all them sort of berry taste that you get when they mixed up and having a drink or a yogurt or anything, you know, them sort of mixed, that mixed berry taste. Mm. It is nice, I like that. It's, it's not as good as, I think it's the Founders, there was the Founders one in there, and the, the Bourbon cast and the Founders cast, they're not as, uh, Founders Choice, sorry. It's not as, um, it's not as good as them, I don't think. But it is another lovely, another lovely drum, you know, I'm, I haven't had, that was just four now, Cotswolds I've had. Each one has been very good. Higher proof, you know, it's definitely, definitely good whiskey makers, definitely good distillers in my point of view. Real apple that time. Quite a long finish as well. Still lingering. Mm. Really, really coating the back of my tongue, front of my mouth. It's faded a lot quicker, but at the back, right on the back of my tongue, it's just there, it's still going now. See, so yeah, a good finish, and that sort of like flips over from apple to pear. There's definitely a lot going on in there. Pretty complex, there's quite a lot of flavours and notes going on in that. I like it, very nice. Lovely, thank you very much, Matt. Appreciate it, appreciate you. Um, I think I've got one more sample from Matt, which will come up soon. I think that's from the English um, distillery. So um, obviously we've done the, uh, what would have I had from the English, I think. Yeah, this one here, the English distillery. So I did, I've done this one before, but um, I've never actually had any of their, any of their other whiskey, so. Look forward to that. That'll probably be the next whiskey review I do, actually. So yeah, lovely stuff. Thank you. Slancha. Hopefully I'll see you again in other Jigs reviews. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, subscribers are going up, slowly but surely, and I thank you all very much for that. So, um, awesome, mate, awesome, yeah. Nah, yeah. Oh, yeah nah, nah. Right, catch you later. Bye-bye.